Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to look at the Churchill class. This ship is called the USS Roosevelt. As you can tell by its visual appearance, this ship means business. It's equipped with a very powerful phaser array and it can fire a large amount of torpedoes. I thought it would be interesting if we put it up against the prototype Shangri-La class from the motion picture era. This ship is equipped with experimental weaponry and it has very powerful shields. It will be interesting to see which ship is better as in my head I think it's about 50-50. Okay, here we go. Even looking at the nacelles, they just look so armoured, don't they? And there's that phaser array. Absolutely epic. Let's fire torpedoes so you can catch them off guard early. Okay, we have seriously damaged their shielding. Wow, I was not expecting that because the Shangri-La shielding is very powerful. It's a prototype ship fitted with new technologies. And as we know, that ship ended up becoming the basis for the new Enterprise G. I don't think they fired... Ah, uh, there we go. I was going to say, they've not fired a torpedo yet. There we go. Our aft shield is at 34%? So yeah, the Shangri-La's weaponry... Pretty powerful, if it hits. But their torpedoes have just missed us, interestingly. Wow. Okay, well, hull wise, we're about the same here. So, yeah, straight away, the Shangri La's defenses are better. We can't really take any hits. I get the feeling our weaponry might be a bit punchier, though, and it's certainly more accurate. Ooh, hang on. Oh, that was bad. Reverse. We took it. Uh, <laughs> we just split that ship in half. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. That's it. We got Critical it. hit. Okay, let's try that the other way around. I think the mistake that the computer made was it switched torpedoes right from the start, which it shouldn't have done really. It should have fired at me to begin with. We're only equipped with 20 photon torpedoes. Oh no! Maybe that's why it did that. Let's try and get a bit closer. Oh, miss again! Got the same problem the computer had. Okay, well, we are managing to dodge somehow their torpedoes. There we go. Weapons powered and ready. Okay, we've hit the warp core. That phaser array they have is absolutely epic. It really is. I get the feeling they have greater firepower, but our defensive systems, as in the shields, are definitely more advanced. But this is a prototype. Oh, look at that, they're just, is it because we've hit the warp core? They're going very slow. Oh, look at that, they're going slow and then starting up again. We've got five photon torpedoes left and then we can switch to a different kind, which are more of the earlier type. Unless I've got that the wrong way around, actually. I thought though that these torpedoes that we have now were the experimental ones. We'll find out in a sec. Okay, we've hit the warp core. Oh, look at this. Oh my. One torpedo. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if that finishes them off? No. Oh. So now we're going to switch to the post- Toss Photon. We've got 40 of those. So yeah, I think these ones are going to be weaker. 
They're the blue ones. They definitely are disabled. Look at that. They've surrendered. Oh, there we go. Ooh. That's what the torpedo looks like. Well, there we go. The Shangri-La. Gosh. Honestly, when I started this battle, I thought the Churchill was overpowered. I genuinely thought it was, but not at all. The Shangri-La should be more advanced. It's definitely from a later time period, and wow. I wasn't quite expecting those results. I thought the Churchill was going to wipe the floor with the Shangri-La, but nope, the other way around. The Shangri-La has better shields, but the Churchill has superior firepower. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.